What's up, everyone? And welcome to Inspire Africa LA. I'm your host, Olivia Ijefor, and welcome to Singles Take Note. I know this is very different for me. This is very different, but I wanted to do something different because I've always wanted to do a series with couples and talk about love because, you know, love is everything. So I thought about why not having this amazing couple with me, but before we get into it, I know this is a quarantine time and a lot of us have been doing a lot of self-reflecting and we're in the house. And for some, a lot of people were thinking, you know, 2020, I'm gonna get into that relationship. I'm gonna find that new bay, or I'm gonna potentially find, you know, the love of my life. And so, although that's kind of changed and has slowed down the process, it hasn't stopped it. And we're gonna be back, you know, out in the streets pretty soon. So I wanted us to really just start thinking about, are we really dating properly? And is there a such thing as dating properly? So I think when we're dating properly, we have the potential of actually marrying properly, you know, or close to it. I have this beautiful couple. This couple is near and dear to me. Um, I've actually seen the, the love of this couple from the beginning to what it's blossomed into now. So that's why I wanted them to be my first guest. Um, I can share a quick story with you guys. I remember when Danny, some of you, you'll hear him. He came to school one day, we were in high school, and he was like, oh my God, I met this girl, and she's amazing. And he couldn't stop talking about it. And look where we are now, over 10 years right. plus. <laughs> <laughs> so, without further ado. My game ado, work. I know, right? Without further ado, please welcome Mr. Danny and Jamie Summerman. How have you guys been uh, doing during this quarantine? We've been good. I mean, <laughs> good. Being Look, be, I guess quote be unquote, stuck in the house good. has not yeah. been terrible for us. We've yeah. been mm -hmm. enjoying it, not having to drive, not having to go to the gas station. Exactly. Right. And that, I mean, I've, I've heard mixed reviews. Some people said that the quarantine has really been causing some friction, but can you guys say that things have gotten better? Have you guys feel like you guys have gotten closer? Or anything I feel like, like that. we've gotten closer. Yeah, I've been yeah, able to sure. relax more. For sure, mm -hmm. we've both been able know, to relax more. When, you, when you're out doing a lot of, you know, going to work, driving to work, yeah. driving to the gym, mm -hmm. you know, just all those extra things that mm -hmm. come and taking time away, you're not able to kind of focus in. So, right. you know, a little bit of of healing within yourself, I guess you can say, because you at home more, you relax. You know, you with the people that's closest with you, so mm -hmm. you're able to, I guess you could say, just kind of drawing out the extra stuff. So, I mean, for mm -hmm. me, at least for us, I guess you could say it's been it's been good. Um, no complaints. And who's been doing most of the cooking? Oh, me, for sure. <laughs> what? Got <laughs> <laughs> it down. Look, that, look that, oh, quarantine, that quarantine 15, Lord Jesus, has been, has been a struggle. Yeah. I've been eating everything, but I'm, nah. I'm trying to balance it out. I'm trying to work out, but the struggle is real. Just, Just the other day, Danny was like, I'll, have, I'll cook next week. I said, oh, really? Five minutes later, never mind. You got it. You got yeah, it. Why <laughs> well, offer? Look, like, you better offer. hold your end of the bargain. Mm -hmm. Like Danny, what if, what can you say that Jamie has brought out of you that you well, never lot. experienced before? Mm -hmm. A lot. You know, um, it's hard to say what I never experienced before because we did start dating. You know, so young, so it wasn't so like I had like that. hella mm -hmm. hope. I mean, females, bags. You know, mm -hmm. <laughs> hella hoes. I'm sorry. <laughs> Whatever you want to call oh, it. Like, I, I never, I didn't have that whole, you know, identity behind me, you know, yeah. so I was really a young cup, you mm -hmm. know, and I was really just kind of, I like girls, I was you know, this, learning you know? yourself. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so I think for me, I think possibly, I can't say for certain, but I feel possibly that it allowed me just to kind of mature in a different way, because I was yeah. going to mature my slow progression regardless, yeah. mm -hmm. but you, you think about finances, you think about like, oh, what I'm going to do, or you think about like, Right. You know, how can I be a better, quote unquote, uh, husband or whatever, you know, boyfriend, whatever to, and I didn't have a dad like growing up. So I didn't really see that, you know, besides mm -hmm. Cosby's, you know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, oh, wait, I don't know if I can say Bill Cosby, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I, okay. But, but no, you know, like, no, you, so. you don't see all that stuff besides mm -hmm. on TV, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air right. and the Cosby Show. So that was my identity as far as a man being in the house with a woman. And right. with kids and all that stuff. So for me, you know, I always knew what I wanted that. And I think that what she brought out of me is just that the ability that that's possible. Um, same question for you. What do you feel Danny has brought in out of you that you've probably never seen before? Or, you know. Her black side. <laughs> <laughs> Look, y'all, Danny got jokes. I already knew this before. Real funny. 
Then he got off and broke, so y'all y'all get ready. Yes. Get ready. Hilarious. <laughs> mm -hmm. I feel like he's allowed me to be as an individual more spontaneous and I guess less orderly and less of a square, quote unquote. But mm -hmm. I used to like I like having everything in the order, everything in place, a schedule here. Right. And this, that, and the other, and Danny has brought out of me like it's okay to let loose, be more spontaneous, right. yeah. get out of my box. Right, right. Mm -hmm. So our first question: What's the first thing that you think you should look for when you meet somebody? Uh, what, or what are some what are some characteristics you think like, like um, physical someone could, should have? Well, oh, no, I'm not not physical. I mean, it can I'm, be physical, okay, but look, more so, so if you're not, personality. If, you're not, if you don't look good, I'm not looking your way. Right, okay. like that's just we we know men are very visual and hygiene upkeep. No, what I'm saying is like, like, literally, like if you like don't look good, it's hard to like naturally look your way. You got you know big booty. You know what I'm saying like you got <laughs> <laughs> like I'm just saying you offering something. Well, yeah, that men, you guys are visual you got, creatures, gotta, so it makes sense. So when too, perfect. you're not looking. <laughs> you gotta look like if I don't look at you, I don't know you're there. After that, then it becomes, you know, the additional attributes, you know what I'm saying? Like, for me, I knew I was never going to be the, like, I used to like ratchet girls, like, just hella ratchet. Oh, Lord. Hella ratchet. I'm <laughs> talking I mean, about, like, hey, like New York from Flavor of Love, you know what I'm saying? Oh, but oh I know what your type, Danny? What, what I look for is really just kind of after the, the physical. Mm -hmm. It's just, it, it, can, I, can I vibe and with for you? For you, Jamie, what do you think? Or what's the key, like, characteristic you think someone should have? When, you know, thinking long term. Long term, yeah, definitely respect, mm -hmm. trustworthy. Of course, you know, looks, whatever you're attracted to, you're attracted to. Everyone mm -hmm. is beautiful mm -hmm. in their own way. And mm -hmm. upkeep, I mean, he, he never stunk. Right. You know, if you Come go on, on a date and the person is smelly, it's important. probably not a good sign. And the I house probably see. smelling, cars probably smelling, everything. Right. So, so yeah. hi, 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 hi. Yeah, and the way, well, initially, the way he approached me, it wasn't no it was a lot of respect there it wasn't like oh hey you you over there turn around you know it was in a respectful manner so absolutely that is a good sign there yeah, well, and, and then first impression up, is, is a is a lot um that first meeting when you guys met each other was there a moment where you're like okay i knew this is the one or i mean i know you guys were young so i'm sure it's a little different but did you feel like i feel like he or she's gonna be in my life for a long time like was there any like vibe you felt I wonder. I mean, because you guys were young, to be so honest, probably not. No. I did not feel like mm -hmm. no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. And not it all. might have been because we're young, but yeah. no. Do you believe that you can build a stable relationship with someone who's still figuring out their life? Like, whether it's finances, whether it's job-wise, do you feel like you can actually build something with somebody who's, you know, still up in the air about a lot of things? I think so. Because mm -hmm. that shows that they're growing. They're trying to better themselves so why not be a part of that right it's not like i mean it's nothing but positivity mm -hmm. with that and then you guys are able to like grow together in some way yeah, yeah grow together and who knows you may have different resources or experience that you can help offer them True. to make their journey a little bit easier mm. so there you go that makes yeah. question can a man or can a man look for something long term with a woman who expects for him to pay for everything? So this is for my fellas that, you know, got to take care of everything and sometimes are frustrated. Do you feel like a man can actually look for something long term with a woman? Yeah. You know, that he's spending yeah. on? It's a pride for us men to be able to mm. financially provide certain things, right? If you can't, mm. you feel less adequate and you more you more aligned to like you know having those mood swings attitude mm -hmm. and for the, i think those things come in when you feel less secure within yourself so you got to kind of your secureness comes in by like I, at least i could hit that other girl over there you know what i'm saying like mm -hmm. so i mm -hmm. think uh i mean if, wow. if if you're financially dependent on me and i could provide i don't see the problem in me providing now mm -hmm. part two of that is if i need you to step up and you're willing to step up that's even better like there shouldn't right. be you know what i'm saying like we have both you know what I'm saying, careers. It ain't just me, it ain't just her, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So like I don't I think finances as long as it's communicated, it's not a problem. Like if you if if I need to pay, I need to pay. And then when you get to marriage, ladies and gentlemen, you share mm -hmm. bank accounts. So it's kinda like right. I mean, if she paying, I'm paying. If I'm paying, she paying. Yeah. You no know, real you know what I'm saying? It's if, not just that's one we person. Paying. Yeah, <laughs> we yeah. paying. You know what I'm saying? So it, it it's teamwork. But I think if if she wanna be taken care of, then take care of her. 
Right. If you can. I mean, I, I agree. I, and for me, I feel like, especially more so in the beginning, like while you're courting somebody, I yeah. feel like, why not take care of things? Like make yeah. me feel like a lady. And yeah. then of course, when we are together, I wouldn't just, you know, just let you just hang. Not, you know, some guys, some guys feel like, nope, I'm not paying for anything or oh, we gotta go half and half or just, hey, I don't know. That's it's exactly. more to life than money. So. Yeah, that's true. it's a lot more. Mm -hmm. It's important though. That's a weak ass yeah. nigga though, to keep on hunting. Right, right. We, if you if you don't want to pay for them, then you already in the wrong boat. Yeah. So it's your fault. For <laughs> Look, that part you already started off. <laughs> so it's your, it's your uh, problem. Yeah. So so ladies, take take no. Yeah. We got we got to learn how to date correctly. Okay. Can being intimate in a short period of time hinder the a potential long term relationship? So again, you know, someone that you possibly want to marry. Do you think being physical too quick can mess that up, or should it be like, you know? Even though we did something, I still got love for him or her or whatever. What do you think? I think it depends mm -hmm. on who the individual individual is. If that's one of your, I guess, qualities that you're looking for and you want to make sure right off the bat, if they oh. got it for you, then you get right to it. But if that's not one of your determining factors, then I suggest, you know, taking it slow. Mm. Okay. But I'm saying like, <laughs> I didn't look at her like, okay, if I don't have sex, then that's it. You know, I look, I was, I was dating a girl that I enjoyed being with. So it was more than just a physical attraction. Like she said, if it's if that's one of your prerequisites, make sure that, you know, you happy. You figure it out quick. <laughs> then you yeah. figure it out quick and then you move on or you stay there or you teach him or right. her, you know, what to do. But right. if not, then you know well, that's true too. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Teaching is is, is, is like the thing. Long term you're gonna have to be able to build connections across the board. Yeah. You can't right. just be in one. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. Also, I want you to speak on that too. Um, just that intimacy, do you feel like it's important to have all those different connections when it is, you know, when you're also being intimate? Yeah. If you don't have intimacy, right. or if you don't have that, that cohesion that, that you need, it ain't gonna work. Don't even waste right. your time. Right, very much so. I agree. I agree too. So, dating. Do you feel like men or women I really want to know, particularly for women, do you think a woman should be very clear on what she's looking for when she starts dating? Like, hey, I'm trying to get married in the next few years or I'm looking for a relationship. Do you think she should say it instantly or does that make her too aggressive? Can that scare a man away? What do you think? What do you does it scare a man away? I think that's most important. <laughs> that's true too. <laughs> some, well, I don't know because I'm not a man, but I feel like some men do like that upfrontness. Because why mm -hmm. waste my time with somebody if, oh, they want to get married? Well, let's cut it off. I'm not looking to get married in, in the next right. 10 years, so I don't even want to date okay. you. Yeah, so Go Omar, ahead. he yeah. asked how long to, it's too long for a man to wait to ask a girl to be his girlfriend. And so, ironically enough, when we first started dating, Jamie immediately left after we first saw each other. She went to Arizona uh, for, like, the uh -huh. summer. Uh-huh. And so, basically, um, I asked, like, six times. <laughs> And she said no until we got back because we saw each other, but like that wasn't no time to really be around each other. I left off in the summer mm -hmm. to go to Arizona, then in the fall, mm -hmm. basically. That's it was, when, oh, that's okay. when I, so I, I asked like three times, four times, wow. and every time it was a no. But I knew, like, you know what I'm saying, we was good, but like, I'm like, like mm -hmm. you know, I'm a rush. So do you feel, do you feel like there's, or maybe Jamie, do you feel like there's a time limit? Do you feel like a man could take way too long to ask? You know a woman to be his girl like if you're dating I mean, for somebody more than six months do you feel like boom it's about time he asked me or do you feel like or is this something that you think you just gotta fill it out it's just a i think you just gotta fill it out because to me dating is you're talking to multiple people mm -hmm. so if he's waiting too long but you like you know someone else better they may jump on it before you and then and that's why your chance. to answer omar's yeah. question i think that you should act like after like two weeks because if another person try to creep in there, you might have missed your window. Mm -hmm. And they just wait for you to ask. And at least mm. on my end, I know, okay, he's, you know, he's really interested yeah. in he wants to take it to the right. level. Really, I think you should ask that day, but I mean, I'm being <laughs> nice and say two weeks. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. I, I don't have to waste no time But you, can. you gotta shoot your shot. Singles have a list or non-negotiables when they're dating. Now, them. yes. A 16-year-old, mm -hmm. 17-year-old, no. But a mature person, mm -hmm. an adult, yes. No, 100% right. perfect right. person out there for you but it's it's gonna be close i mean there's some i'm just saying he's perfect for oh me. okay he has oh, yeah. there you go look there's the still stuff that he does that will annoy me like so I'm what just saying, like, you're not gonna like be, what 
not ever annoyed like, or like not what? ever bothered. Like what? <laughs> While dating, do you think, well, we kind of touched on this already, but do you think couples need to have goals that are aligned with each other? Mm -hmm. um, and, and for example, I'll say this example, say, or we, t we, we did actually talk on, about that, you know, having an entrepreneur or someone having a nine to five and, you know, have them having different lifestyles. Do you think they can actually come together or do you think it's better when two people are kind of like doing the same thing? Different lifestyles is okay. Mm -hmm. As mm -hmm. long as you're supportive of each other's lifestyle mm -hmm. versus, um, if you're with somebody who's not goal oriented whether their goals be way different than yours it's probably not going to work yeah. but we're both goal oriented we may have different goals but at least we're both working towards overall something. it's yeah. towards the same thing mm -hmm. i love that question do you think this is kind of together do you think finances should be discussed early on in a situation or you know maybe the dating stages do you think that you know people should talk about how much money they make what they should bring to the table or do you think that's something for later so uh <laughs> i think tmi if you're bringing it on the first date okay it's something right. it's something later on in life if you mm -hmm. find out oh i want to be really serious with this person and this is someone i can spend the rest of my life with then bring it on the mm -hmm. you know the big topics such as finances would right. be more appropriate i mm -hmm. think and yes i agree mm -hmm. however <laughs> Mm -hmm. I think that it is a good thing to kind of spill that information because mm -hmm. kind of talk a lot, about yeah, a lot of times you get into a situation with somebody and they could snicker, sucker you <laughs> into a trap. You know what I'm uh -huh. saying? You might you not done, know what they you got going on. You done been suckered, and I'm speaking for the ladies more so because look guys, some student look some student loan debt. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying like they could suck you in a situation to where like you they find financially dependent on you. Mm -hmm. and like it's a lot more than you bag for it you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. and you like damn i'm gonna i got you but i ain't got you got you like you would know like if they maneuvering in a way that you kind of want because mm -hmm. it's been two months and you ain't been on the day you know what i'm saying like right. you know like when the funds is low low like he just always trying to go to the netflix and chill it ain't because he's trying to always have sex because he ain't got no bread like Ooh. look so. you guys look take note that was so, the gym right there so sometimes so. if these guys trying to netflix and chill that, that might, might be, be bro. something else. Yeah. But when dating, do you think there's a mindset that you should have? So now we're at this age. Do you think there's a mindset that we should have going into dating? Or is it just like, well, oh, whatever, whatever happens, happens. I think an open growth mindset. And find out if it's really a non-negotiable. Yeah. Or not. And then, you know some what? things you think you don't want, you really need. Yeah. Right. That's true. You are right about that. Yeah. You guys, your love started so young. But I want to know with those lists so say you have a, a 10 a top 10 list i sure do what do you <laughs> what do you think is a, a healthy adjustment like of course no one's perfect so no one's gonna have a hundred percent of those things on their list but mm -hmm. what do you think should it be like a 50 50 uh 70 30 like it should be 100 100 100 100 okay and what i mean by that is that's the conversation so like mm. i feel like on my list of things are you saying more so before we know them or like just like right yeah and before or while you're getting to know them rather yeah because yeah it should be a 100 100 like your my mm -hmm. thing sh sh it should check the box it should and it, be it may not check the box right away mm -hmm. it may take some time for that mm -hmm. box to get checked mm -hmm. but you just need to make sure that that box can be checked the no. person that you like more or the person that likes you more it's a conflict Okay, or because, does it need to be like a 50 50 thing? Like, because, we are both just because you don't know how much a person really likes mm -hmm. you. Realistically, mm -hmm. I used to feel like I liked her, loved her more, you know, quote unquote. Mm -hmm. She would always make my lunch, you know, it's before we yeah. lived together, you know, mm -hmm. what I'm saying going to work, like, and that was small for me. But mm -hmm. when I really think about, like, damn, she's making my lunch for work, mm -hmm. like, that's yeah, like, crazy that's because mm -hmm. I don't even cook for myself, so let alone mm -hmm. her making her my actual lunch, you know, so. right. You just got to be tuned in necessarily to what they're doing. For People you. say, like, oh, I love you this much, or I love you this much. Well, really, right. it's all the same, but maybe their basket to love is just bigger than your basket. Right. Or they just you know? show it in a different they way. They show it in a different they way. They show it in a different you way. Know? And that's the, that you got to pay attention to that. Like, you know, the, you know, the five love The languages. love languages. Yeah, Absolutely. Like, they show it different ways. So, right. uh, more affectionate people 
we don't often think like when we see people out kissing and hugging and stuff we like oh they more affection they love each other the most right somebody that's just holding hands or mm. you're just chilling with each other but that's that not necessarily preach. true it's just that they show it in different ways you like see more or the person you like more i don't think that that's gonna work out because mm. one person is into someone more than the other unless somehow you can have a conversation and talk about it and then grow together but if I'm not into you, I'm not gonna want to continue to pursue you, even though you're really into me. Oh, I'm just gonna let you fly by the wayside and, and move on. Right. And if I'm really what? into you, but you're not really into me, then I'm gonna it's keep pursuing over. you, and maybe I can persuade you, or they can persuade, you know, vice versa. So, I mean, if you like somebody and they don't really like you, shoot your shot as many times as you feel necessary until you feel like you've worn out and you're down to a shrivel, then I would say move on. But it takes mm -hmm. people time. Just like Danny said, he asked me four or five times to be his girlfriend before I actually said yes. Mm. Just mm -hmm. imagine if he would have only asked me once. I said, mm. no, he moved on to the next. Mm. I mean, he could be off in who knows where by now. President. <laughs> right. <laughs> With a hundred kids. <laughs> both of your responses because I think they were both necessary and I really hope mm -hmm. people could take from you know what you guys said um, before we go what do you think are the keys to a successful marriage okay for my married people who are who are in the room communication communication mm -hmm. communication I mean literally we're I mean we're still working on it it's been 13 years since the day we both met and we're still constantly working on it how so to better our communication, communication, how to express ourselves mm. to one another. If something's bothering yeah. us, to bring it up instead of holding it in. Express the that. great things as well as, you know, what's bothering you. Don't just express the negative things all the time or the good mm -hmm. things all the time. It has to be and, a balance. And with that communication, because we hear that so much and you might think it's a, a cliche, but mm -hmm. I think that's very important. And can you speak on, you know, maybe talking about those uncomfortable things that you don't really want to talk about like how how are you able to really you know or how have you guys been able to have those uncomfortable conversations with communicating because it's so easy like for me i'll speak of myself sometimes i rather just keep things bottled inside like i'd rather mm -hmm. just not speak to keep the peace or something so how do you have those uncomfortable conversations it takes a person to in the within the relationship i think to be able to first be the catalyst mm -hmm. um to always have that vulnerability uh and knowing that they may or may not be receptive to information mm -hmm. one and two they may not always be willing to listen to it at that point in time mm -hmm. you know so hers was communication but mine's was dedication mm -hmm. you need dedication yeah. in the marriage because if you ain't dedicated like you ain't ever it ain't gonna work because mm -hmm. she may hate you today he may hate you today you know what I'm saying? But if you dedicate knowing that, like, we're going to get past that like, hurdle, like, yeah. I'm, I'm, this marriage is mine. This is like, this is like, like, you're not going to, well, some people disown their kids, but mm -hmm. I'm not going to disown my kid ever. Mm -hmm. No matter what they do, no matter how they, so this is like my kid. You're not going to disown me either. Well, I'm just saying, yeah, not you. I'm saying <laughs> you too. I said you like my kid. You ain't listening? <laughs> Communication, girl. <laughs> don't, like, don't you just love them, y'all? But no, like, it's big because like to me marriage is my is my kid mm -hmm. so i'm gonna protect it from anybody mm. where it's my mama my daddy my kid like i'm gonna protect it you know from yourself i'm gonna protect right. it as much as i can yeah. like oh marriage is just you know what's different besides you a paper mm. and the reality is if you're asking that question you're already in the wrong boat mm -hmm. mm. you're not supposed to be thinking marriage is just a paper no, marriage is a union between you, the partner, and God. Mm -hmm. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So Absolutely. if this if this if this triangle is going on, and you're not blood to me, and I've devoted my life to you, you mm -hmm. devoted your life to me, mm -hmm. then we should be acting accordingly. And by doing that, that means no matter what, we're supposed to be getting past these hurdles. Just yeah. being persistent, kind of not a nag, mm -hmm. really, but persistent. Like if I know something is bothering him, I'll ask him. He'll say nothing. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. But knowing like it's still in his mind, I'll ask again, maybe that same day, he won't say nothing, but then give it a full 24 hours after right, that. It's coming and out. then maybe he'll, you know, or she'll be able to open up because now it's past, they dwell on it. They're ready to release it because you need to get it out in order. And she's talking from experience. Be 
I'm telling you, I'm Look, a talker. But that's what we need, yeah, and, and that's why we're here. And having mm-hmm. that safe space, maybe, because I know sometimes we get a lot of, me and Danny, we get a lot of our conversations out in the car. If we're taking a, a trip, you know, even to the gas station or something, you know, yeah. we'll get it out in the car. Or if you know, oh, the safe space is, you know, in the mornings while we're brushing our teeth, we're able to say whatever was on our mind without having any backlash. Then that's right. yeah. that's your uh, nude, mm-hmm. right? So you're most vulnerable when you nude. Yeah. You massage the person, but before you massage the person, you talk to them about what how their day was, how their week was. Mm-hmm. and to see how you know you can do better how they can do better whatever the situation mm-hmm. is and we mm-hmm. alternate each week so this week i massage yes. you and then next week i mass- you massage me mm-hmm. so that way you get a massage and you're getting those frustrations yeah. out you know right. what I'm saying? that you may not have been able to get out that day or that week mm-hmm. you know that day is set for you know like just get it all out if you don't get to communicate right so right. that it, it 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 has helped us thank you guys so much i'm just i'm so excited for all this wealth of knowledge that i just received and really hearing you guys' story is just so inspirational. And I just think, um, you know, at this time, 2020, relationships and marriage, I feel like so many people are scared, so many people are hesitant because a lot of people don't have these positive images to see and seeing young love and seeing people married, you know what I mean? And that was something that I, I've always admired about you, Danny, for you being so young and getting married, but you knew like, I can do this and I'm committed, whatever the, you know, whatever is thrown at me, I, I got yeah. it. So I love that and I feel like any Body who's watching, any young couples, um, just really shout out to you because we have so many distractions now. We have so many things that are at our fingertips that can take us away from that type of commitment and really kind of blur our vision with how beautiful love is and how amazing marriage is. You know what I mean? So thank you guys so much for that. Briefly in like 30 seconds, can you tell us how um, baby Ella has changed anything or has changed the dynamic of things or how she's brought you guys closer two minutes i mean like 30 she seconds. has really shown me that time really does fly mm. live in the moment be in the moment i don't need to record every single stages of her life but actually physically like having no technology distractions and just you know being with her and seeing her develop i mean literally she's grown and it's in a fast amount of time. Okay. I'm going to answer that question, but we got a question out there. So I want to answer this question because it's okay, a special ahead, person that ahead. I know. It's, we got a question. Go. Yeah. I can so, see. Look, I don't see it. Go ahead. I see it. Um, so is it ever too long to date? And the oh. answer is yes and no. Ooh. You need to define what's going on, whether you're the woman <laughs> or the man. Right. You need to man up, woman up, and say, hey, what are we doing? Mm. And after you ask, what are we doing? Depending on the response, it's, okay, well, this is what I want. Mm. Whether they can fill that void or not is up to them. But if you don't do that, then it's ne- you shouldn't ask, is, there, is it ever too long today? You sit back and take whatever's get, given to you. Right. Because you're not willing to step up and say what you want. Which yeah, goes back to the non-negotiable. So, like close, uh, close mouths don't get fed. If you they don't. don't. The I want to add to okay. Okay. Her, to baby. You got it. Hurry yeah. Up, hurry up. Yeah. So mm-hmm. baby Ella has been great, right? Um, one thing that I learned about myself is I actually asked for a blessing from God, mm. and I actually got it. And obviously Ella, Mama, please calm down. <laughs> <laughs> um, I asked for a blessing from God, and it wasn't necessarily that she would be here. Obviously, that she would be here, that she would be healthy, but that I would get to spend the time that I'm getting to spend to her with her so this quarantine has allowed me has been able to really just see her development so um yes that to me that's just been she's been i'm able to see jamie's strength see all that she's able to accomplish from working a job working a personal business both full time by the way Mm -hmm. both 40 hours that she's dedicating a week and still breastfeeding at three o'clock in the morning one o'clock in the morning six o'clock in the morning 12 p.m., 4 p.m., like, you know, just... Look, like, shout out to you, Jamie. You are amazing. Out. You are beautiful. Just... You you made everything look effortless. You're glowing. You've been glowing from beginning to end. I did that, girl. Just... Oh, Lord. <laughs> but we, you're just awesome, Jamie. So Thank we you. Definitely love you. We got to wrap this up. 
thank you all so much. I'm so grateful for you guys for being a part of this um, and just being so down, so short notice. I truly appreciate it. Um, your love is so beautiful. And thank you guys for being such an inspiration to me and so many people. I hope um, all of you that were watching, I hope you guys were able to take something, at least one nugget from this conversation. Um, and please stay tuned because I'm going to have more singles take notes um, coming up. So if you know a couple, let me know. Okay, so this is a, our beautiful power couple that we're here today. Um, thank you all so much for watching. I'm Olivia e. Jeffor. Yes. Make sure you guys like, subscribe to Inspire Africa LA, and um, also thank you, uh, Olivia. Follow Inspire Africa LA if you're not already, and follow me. Thank and you, you Olivia. You can head to my website. Jimmy. And thank you, Danny. Thank you for our friendship for so many years. Yeah, I was about to say it's thank you, awesome. Olivia. I've been on Olivia since forever, so it's good to see her go from the little. The quiet girl that used to be on her next tail walking by me. <laughs> I used to think she used to talk to herself. No, <laughs> she used to I was be so to funny. My she used to talk to her sister every day going home. Yep. And so I think that was Michelle. So, yep. um, so hey, thank you, Olivia. Obviously, if, if y'all need yes, a home thank loan, thank you for having us. Come talk to me if y'all need a home loan. If y'all want to know how it takes to get a loan, there gotta you go. Plug that right? in. <laughs> Just hit me up. It's all free information. Boom. There you go. And Jamie, you have a business too. Let, give, give us a quick plug, real quick. Oh, yes. If anyone needs any professional business services, websites, videography, uh, anything, Girl, look, basically, except you. accounting, look, you. then <laughs> you can hit me up. My name is Jamie, and my business name is Arboretta Green. That's what I'm talking about. So thank you all so much for your time. Thank I you. Love thank you. you. Thank you all for watching. We love you, too. I'll, okay. I'll see you guys next time. If you would love to be a guest on our show, send us a message at www.inspireafricala.com or send us a message on our Instagram page. We would love to have you as a guest because you never know who you're inspiring.